Removing graffiti from a tractor trailer outside Lieber Electric in West Scranton wasn't how Andrew Rometta planned to start his Tuesday. For more than an hour, he scrubbed and scrubbed, trying to undo a vandal's dirty work. You have to go and get turpentine or some form of cleaner to then just you have to take everything as much as you can off. As you can see, I'm going through piles and piles of gloves. As Eyewitness News first told you on Monday, several businesses, street signs, telephone poles, and even an old mailbox were damaged late Saturday night. The West Scranton Hyde Park Neighborhood Watch Group is now looking to help property owners clean up. We are supporting our business owners and property owners that were affected. We're going to help them uh, with any volunteers or supplies they need so we can get it cleaned up. While not associated with the vandalism, students from the Commonwealth Medical College helped to spruce up the same neighborhood Tuesday, just blocks from where all the graffiti was found. Students were raking leaves and painting the West Side Police Precinct, all in an effort to show people care about this community. We get a real sense of satisfaction that, that the college actually has a positive benefit to the community here. The one thing we really focus is on is the relationship we have with the community. So this is our opportunity. They're so welcoming to us and this is our chance to really give back. With most of the graffiti still on buildings along North Main Avenue, from Lackawanna Avenue down to Jackson Street, Scranton's police chief is urging all business owners to start cleanup projects as quickly as possible. We're proud of our community and we're not going to let this setback um, affect us in a, in a larger way.